Let's go through the AEM Quick Links Google Extension tool. This tool can enhance the lives of AEM content authors, developers, and administrators as they are navigating through the AEM platform. This tool offers two useful functions. Page conversion tool, which is to co dynamically convert the current page to touch UI editor, classic UI editor, series DE console, touch UI page properties, disable mode, and also debug client lips mode. You can imagine that these buttons right now are disabled is because these pages cannot be converted to any of these subpages. The second useful function for this tool is the bookmarks. The bookmarks are nothing but a collection of useful AEM links that will enhance the user's lives when navigating through the AEM platform. So you can imagine that these are just uh, helpful links that would navigate you through the AEM platform. So for example, if you want to quickly go to the tabs, the tags for AEM, you can just go over there for tags. And then if you want to go to tree activation configuration, you can go into this page right here. There's one caveat about the bookmarks section is that all these buttons are actually navigating the user to the relative path. So what that means is that when you click on one of these links, it would actually append the relative path to the current origin of the URL. So as an example, let's go to facebook.com. So say if you're a AEM developer or a content author, if you want to go to into dictionary console um, while you're on Facebook, that's not gonna work because it appends the relative path to the origin. So what you need to actually do is you need to set a configuration. It's called author URL origin. You can type in your author instance URL up here, or you can just navigate to your current AEM platform and just click on the, the quick link button and that would actually set the origin for you. So now when I'm on Facebook, when I click on start, it would actually take me to back to my AEM platform. So before we start demoing the conversion of the pages, let's hide the hints just to make our layout much more cleaner. So let's go ahead into the demo. I'm going to go into uh, the, any random page, the men's page. So say there's a scenario where there's a problem in this page and the AM author is trying to resolve the issue. What they want to do is they might want to look into CRXDE and see what the problem is. So they can open this tool, convert this page to a CRXDE. So it will actually take them to the path of the selected page. And then they'll, they can start analyzing uh, each of the components to see what the problem is. But then they can realize that the problem might be inside page properties. So instead of double clicking on the page node and then editing the page um, using page properties, you can use the tool and you can go directly to the page properties for this page. And then you'll realize that the ID is supposed to be two, for example. And once when you change the ID, you say um, you would want to view the page to see if the page is still broken. So you would want to use the tool and then click on disable mode. And that would actually take you to the disable mode. And now you can you know, start seeing the, the page if everything is fixed. And if you want to make some changes, you can either go into um, the classic UI mode or the touch UI mode. In this demo, let's go to the, the editor for classic UI. So now we're in the classic UI mode. And that concludes the demo for the page. So for the next demo part, let's let's see this tool being used instead of assets. So let's go to touch UI assets. So in this case, we're gonna to navigate to a random image. So in this case, the as a developer, you, you might want to look at the properties for this image because um, maybe some kind of property is not shown as expected. So when you're in this page, you realize that you have to go into CRXDE to see what the problem is. You can manually copy this and go into CRXDE and then look for the node. But it will be quicker if you just click on the extension, click on CRXD, and that will actually take you directly to um, the image node here. So as you can see, now we can navigate through um, each of the nodes just to see what the problem is.
So another useful mechanism for this tool is when you're inside of workflows. So for example, when you're inside of workflows, you are trying to edit this item. And maybe you are used to the classic UI editor. So you can click on this button. You want to change this to classic UI. And then for some reason, you want to look at this page in CRXDE. You can just do so. Look at this page directly in CRXDE. And that concludes the demo for this section. And for the last one, let's just go through replication agents. So in this case, you would find the configuration that you are making changes to. And then you, you will start looking at uh, the different configurations here, but you want to look at this inside of CRXDE. So you can convert this page to CRXDE, but instead of replacing this current page with the converted page, you have the option to open this into a new tab. So in this case, I'll select that option. And then when I click on this, it opens a new tab. So it actually retains the page. And this concludes the demo for this tool. I'm just going to show the hints again and then just disable opening a new tab and clear the author origin. Thank you.